हेलो स्टूडेंट सो आई एम हेयर टू कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक वैलेंसी आई एक्सप्लेन ऑलरेडी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेरिएबल वैलेंसी दिस टॉपिक इज ऑल्सो नॉट न्यू फॉर यू यू हैव गॉन थ्रू दिस टॉपिक वेरिएबल मीन्स समथिंग विच वेरी और विच चेंजेस सो सर्टिन एलिमेंट्स आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द पीरियडिक टेबल सम एलिमेंट्स दे हैव दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ शोइंग मोर देन वन वैलेंसी and they are set to exhibit variable valency okay so some elements they can show more than one valency that's why they are set to show or set to exhibit variable valency now this thing you have learned many times but it is very important to know the reason for any atom to show the variable valency what is the what may be the reason the reason is that actually uh, transition elements they generally show the property of variable valency transition elements when you will see the periodic table the middle part of the table it belongs to transition elements or transition series so actually the transition elements they have the property of variable valency this is because that they show the tendency of losing electron not only from the last shell you have seen that atom they show the tendency of losing electron from their valence shell in order to become stable but transition elements they have their two outermost shells incomplete is it clear so due to this reason they can lose electron from the last shell as well as from the penultimate or the second last shell so sometimes they may lose one electron from the last shell or sometimes they can uh, depending upon the condition they may lose one more electron from the second last shell so in that case they may be showing the change or variation in the valency that is known as the variable valency so you are clear with the examples iron iron uh, usually show variable valency it has two valencies fe2 plus fe3 plus and you know what uh, uh, suffix we have to add for the lower valency state fe2 plus and 3 plus 2 plus is the lower state so for the lower state we have to add the suffix ous us and the for the higher state we have to add the suffix ica okay so fe2 plus can be named as ferrous and fe3 plus can be named as ferric in the same way copper copper shows two valency cu plus and cu2 plus so the lower one is cu plus that can be cuprous and higher one is cu2 plus that will be cupric okay so that is all about variable valency now i am moving to next topic which is formula you know what is symbol symbol is just representation shortest representation for one atom of an element in the same way formula what is formula it is the symbolic representation of one molecule of an element or compound is it clear if we are representing the formula of elements then elements may be um, h2 h2 will represent one molecule of hydrogen if you are showing h h is just one atom of hydrogen but if you are writing as h2 because the stable form is uh, when stable form of hydrogen uh, starts when two atoms of hydrogen combine to form one molecule of hydrogen so one molecule of hydrogen is h2 and its formula can be shown in this way in the same way one molecule of chlorine cl2 one molecule of oxygen o2 and one molecule of nitrogen can be represented as n2 and when we are talking about formula of compounds it is also symbolic representation but for one molecule of a compound so when we are considering compound this first compound is h2o that's of course water so h2o represents one molecule of water in this way the formula of ammonia is nh3 which represents one molecule of ammonia the formula of acetic acid is ch3 cooh which represents one molecule of acetic acid okay now coming to the next topic significance of molecular formula very important to know how molecular formula is important for us what is its significance the main three important significance of molecular formula is there first first significance of molecular formula is it represents one molecule of that particular compound okay the compound to which that formula belongs always the formula will be representing one molecule of that compound second important point 
that it shows the number of atoms of each element present in one molecule when you see the formula of any compound you can readily know that how many atoms of each elements are present in that one molecule of the compound now third important significance is it also gives the molecular mass of the compound now everything will be clear when we start this significance with one example okay so let me take the molecular formula of water you know what is molecular formula of water yes of course it is h2o now how can we know the significance of h2o what is the first significance we get when you write h2o it represent one molecule of water is it clear when you are writing h2o h2o is formula of water and it also represent one molecule of water if you write 2 h2o it means two molecules of water if you write 3 h2o it means three molecules of water so the formula represents the molecule of that compound okay now second important significance you can see with this formula Uh, you can easily know that how many atoms of a particular element are present in one molecule of water how can you see by uh, looking at its formula you can see that one molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen so molecular formula also tell you that how many atoms of each element are present in one molecule of that compound third very important information we get from molecular formula is of course the molecular mass okay so how h2o give us the molecular mass of water we have to calculate the molecular mass by knowing their atomic masses the atomic masses values will always be taken as approximate or the round of figures okay never use the value in fractions hydrogen ka atomic mass 1.008 nahi lena hai always take the round of hydrogen the atomic mass is 1 and oxygen the atomic mass is 16 so how can we calculate the molecular mass means mass of one molecule of water just see one atom of hydrogen has the mass 1 so we can put one here but two atoms of hydrogen are there so we have to multiply uh, the atomic mass by 2 okay so 1 into 2 then plus before is coming to next element hydrogen ka ho gaya one atom ka mass 1 hai to 1 ko leke humne 2 se multiply kiya because number of atoms are 2 here then coming before coming to next element we have to put plus because we have to add the atomic masses of each elements and there are there is only one atom of oxygen and one atom oxygen weighs 16 so we have to put plus 16 here so 2 plus 16 18 so molecular mass of water is 18